What's up everyone and welcome back to another Pokemon X and Pokemon Y Wi-Fi battle. So this is an Uber's battle as you can see there's legendaries all over the place. I just really like Uber's battles, they're working really well for me. I'm I guess enjoying them more because these aren't Pokemon that you normally see. And not everyone has uh, access to Pokebank so when I would do an Uber's battle it's against people who have access to Pokebank or Pokebank legendaries or anyone who can just set up an uber's team so this was completely random we just decided to battle and it happened about a week ago so i was still working on my team and my team is not ivy bred or eevee trained and i'm pretty sure well he told me that most of his pokemon are ivy will have good ivs and are eevee trained so already i was at a disadvantage but i didn't really really care because uh my dark rye was ivy bred not ivy bred has perfect ivies and my deoxys does as well and those are really the two key things i wanted to use as you're gonna see i start off with dark right here and he's gonna start off with cresselia so obviously i'm gonna go for the dark void i'm timid nature so i'm gonna outspeed i don't even think modest would be slower anyway so i'm gonna miss the dark void which is really unfortunate but he's gonna be able to paralyze me and then start outspeeding me and obviously dark is gonna be a special attacker most of the time so he's gonna set up the light screen first and I finally get the sleep on this Cresselia so that's lucky for me so now I can't get the sleep on anything else but the Cresselia falls asleep but it wakes up immediately because of the Chesto Berry and at this point I realized that it was a Resto Chesto because he told me in the call that I, I said that's completely useless how did you know like that's why you started off with Cresselia because you knew I would start off with Darkrai but it was actually a Resto Chesto set and I don't know why he would do that considering he gets Moonlight so he could have had an item and Moonlight instead and if he had Moonlight it would have helped him way more in this battle so pretty much he's gonna wake up put uh, Swagger on me and he's gonna switch into Tornadus now Tornadus here really doesn't do too much I get the Dark Void on his Tornadus and really throughout the entire battle, I do not think Tornadus ever wakes up. I think he just stays asleep. So, uh, Tornadus falls asleep. I'm going to be able to recover health while he's sleeping. So, in the next turn, I'll be able to get off all of my HP back. And I'm slowly doing damage to this Tornadus. So, he's actually going to switch out his Tornadus and go right back into his Cresselia. As I actually try going for the Ice Beam. But, you're going to see right here, I get the Parahex. So he still does not say I have the Ice Beam, and he probably thought I would have switched out or something because... I mean, maybe he could still use Dark Plus, but maybe that's what he was uh, thinking of. And Tornadus does have Regenerator, but I wasn't thinking about that, at least when I was playing this part of the battle. So his Cresselia is in, so, and my Confusion's gone, so he's going to try setting up a Swagger on me. And then on the next turn, if he gets lucky, because he can probably live a Dark Pulse, because Cresselia is pretty decently bulky. I think it's actually really good. At taking special attacks what am I saying but he's probably thinking that whether I can pull this off or not he's gonna survive because swagger increases my attack so that's not gonna benefit me so it's only a con of making me hit myself with confusion and doing more damage so now he's gonna be able to set up the light screen as you can see I actually do get the dark pulse on him and it's gonna be a two hit KO but then he has the light screen so it's gonna be like another three hits to kill him so I already know that I'm not gonna be able to kill him but I think I got well now he's gonna switch out into his tornadoes but I realized here that his Tornadus had full HP again, and then I'm like, oh my god, Tornadus gets Regenerator, and he's gonna completely abuse uh, Tornadus' Regenerator, so although I'm hitting myself in Confusion a lot, I'm actually gonna be able to recover a lot of that. It's really good that I gave Darkrai Leftovers over anything else, because that was really just a filler. I needed an item on Darkrai, and Leftovers really, if I gave him a different item, Darkrai would have been dead by now. Well, not by now, but he would have been dead really way sooner than he did so I revealed that I have ice beam because I finally get the hit and he knows that he cannot take another one so he's gonna abuse Tornadus's regenerator and he's gonna switch out back into his Cresselia so I'm getting way ahead of myself but really I did not expect them to abuse Tornadus's thing like this because the bad dreams even though he has leftovers the bad dreams is gonna make it so it pretty much just counters his leftovers so I'm gonna be able to kill him so he's gonna switch out get 33% of his HP back and I don't know why I didn't predict this, but he's going to go into his Cresselia to nicely take that hit. And I mean, over time, I'm still getting all my HP back, so it's like he never did anything. He's going to set up yet another Swagger, and this is just really annoying. So you can see he's stalling out, but he's not making too much progress. He really wants his Tornadus to wake up, and he wants his Cresselia alive. He really just wants his Dark Red, because that's a big threat to his team. Because as you kill every Pokemon one by one, you get to put another one to sleep. And that's completely legitimate because 
over time, well not over time, but every time only one Pokemon is going to be sleeping. So he really wanted to wall this uh, Dark Rye out. So I can tell why he wanted to stall, but I mean, he didn't have anything else on his team that could handle this Dark Rye well. So the confusion is going to take me down to red and I'm still not going to get back to yellow healing up. And at this point, I was just going to sack my Dark Rye, but he's going to switch out into Tornadus. And this told me that he, the only way he could hit you was indirectly. He did not have any direct attacking moves. So that told me that I could, I mean, completely wall out his Cresselia as long as I don't hit myself in confusion. It's sort of like the annoying Klefki set, except Klefki has flat foul plays. So, I mean, that's really annoying. So he's going to go back into Tornadus. Tornadus is all the way back into green. I get the bad dreams. He goes into yellow. And I actually go for the Dark Pulse here, expecting him to switch back into Cresselia. Because I don't want Cresselia being able to set up the light screen and reflect, because I think it's about to end in a few turns. But I get the pair hack. So now I know he's going to set up another Swagger on me. And my only chance here to beat this Cresselia up before it uses Rest, because I know it has Rest. His moveset, I guess, is Swagger, Thunder Wave, Rest. And I'm not sure if he revealed his last move, because I'm trying to <laughs> pay attention to the overall battle. But... I'm actually going to get through the paralysis and the confusion and go for the dark pulse and I guess barely take it out considering that I have to kill him, I have to hit him three times to take him out from half but I take out the Cresselia so his Cresselia is finally down so he has no more Pokemon to set up light screens and reflects and just be that annoying thing so now he's going to set out, I mean send out his Kyurem and I, at first I was thinking, I mean Kyurem is an OU because he doesn't have that good of a moveset. So I was actually really confused at what this Kyurem was supposed to do. He's going to set up the substitute to see if he can get a free sub up, but I get lucky again and go for the Dark Pulse, and that's going to be able to destroy his substitute. No, I am weak as heck because of that light screen. So at this point, I know I cannot take it out. I'm just going to have to sack my Dark Rye and try to break a sub before I go, I mean, before I lose my Dark Rye. But he's going to go for the Earth Power, so it looks like he's actually running a special Kyurem Black. Which, really, he should just be running Kyurem White. I don't know why he's running a special Kyurem Black. Maybe to catch things off guard, because it, there's always a benefit to every kind of set you run. People would think it's physical, switching to the physical walls, and then you get destroyed because they can't take a special hit. Sort of like Agron and Avalug. So, I'm going to switch into my Giratina here because he has Aura Sphere. And he's going to go for the strong, strong Ice Beam and destroy this Giratina's life. Giratina barely survives. I go for the Aura Sphere, obviously gonna take out a sub. So him setting up that sub was actually much smarter than I thought because even though he predicted incorrectly in the situation that I did get through the confusion and the paralysis, it was still not good enough to take it out. And I'm not sure if that was because of the light screen because I think the light screen is off, but I mean up, but pretty much he's gonna destroy this Giratina, but I did get a sub out of the way, so now he's vulnerable. But he is one Pokemon ahead of me. Well, I mean, he has five Pokemon and I have four. So my best bet here is to go into my Deoxys and go for the Focus Miss. I mean, Focus Blast. Wow, I, I'm legit calling it Focus Miss now. And I actually hit the Focus Blast, and that is going to easily destroy this. At first, I thought I brought the wrong Deoxys to this battle, but it turns out that this is actually um, Attack Deoxys, so obviously it's going to take it out. But now he's going to go into his Tornadus. I'm not sure what he was trying to do here. But he's going to learn really quickly that my Deoxys here has Thunderbolt. And Thunderbolt is going to destroy this Thunderous as well. So now I'm quickly picking up back at the battle. I guess the fact that Tornadus was um, asleep kind of made it in my favor. Where I can count Tornadus as not even existing because he can't do anything. So Tornadus was in fact asleep for the entire battle. Not even a turn, like the second he gets switched in, he just fell asleep. So I'm going to go for the Ice Beam here, revealing that I have Ice Beam, but he's going to survive it and kill me with the Dragon Claw, I think. Yeah, he kills me with the Dragon Claw, and I really did not expect him to live it, but I know that Deoxys isn't so overpowered that he can Oko anything with a super effective hit. So going into Zekrom was really smart, but I realized that his Zekrom is life form, so he's going to lose his Zekrom as I lose my Deoxys. So... Now I'm going to go into White Kyurem as he goes into his Dialga. And the reason I went into White Kyurem is because I have Focus Miss. Wow! I have Focus Blast on this Kyurem. And that's going to be able to do super effective damage to both of his remaining Pokemon. So it didn't matter which one he sent out. He's going to go for the Draco Meteor. Missed a really small chance of missing. And I'm going to miss the really big chance of missing. And then at the next turn, or during the next turn, he's going to hit this Draco Meteor and easily take out this White Kyurem. So... That was really my winning card, 
as I thought at that moment because Xerneas was part uh, fairy and I had a feeling that his Dialga had flash cannon. I'm not sure if Dialga can learn it or not, but I had a feeling it had flash cannon. So I'm actually going to go into my Arceus, which is actually uh, Ghost Arceus. I want to pull a prank where I put like Psychic Plate on an Arceus and then call it, like nickname it Arceus-Poison or something like that. But he knows how to identify what type a Deoxys, not a Deoxys, an Arceus is. So he knows he can safely use a Draco Meteor. It didn't really matter unless it was Pixie or Steel. So I guess the the purplish Arceus didn't really matter too much. But he goes for the Draco Meteor, bringing his attack to minus four. And I go for the Dark Pulse. I don't know why. I thought it would kill it, but it doesn't. I don't know why I didn't want to use Judgment. It really wasn't that smart of a decision but he misses the draco meteor after that which was really good because anything could have happened he could have gotten a crit and even though he's at minus four it still could have done some good damage so he's gonna bring out his uh dark eye easily take out the ghost uh arceus with dark pulse and now it's 1v1 but i do have the upper hand because this is a Xerneas and that is a dark rice so in case you don't know to use a Xerneas, the best way to use it is give a geomancy Oh, I actually go for Protect just to troll him, but the best way to use it is Power Herb Geomancy because Power Herb works for moves like Solar Beam, so you could use it on the first turn. And Geomancy is pretty much like two Quiver Dances, so you get plus two Special Defense, Special Attack, and Speed in one turn. So I'm actually going to try going for the Geomancy, but Darkrai outspeeds and he's going to put me to sleep. So at this point of the battle, I thought I lost, and after seeing him use Nasty Plot, I confirmed it. I'm like, okay, I lost. Okay, I lost. And I'm still asleep. So he has plus two special attack. And my Dark Rye runs Sludge Bomb because I like getting rid of fairies. But it looks like he does not have anything but Dark Pulse. So I'm not sure if you can flinch someone while they're sleeping. But he doesn't get the flinch. I wake up after the two turn sleep. And I set up the Geomancy. So now I have plus two special attack. And I can outspeed him because I have double the speed. So, I'm pretty sure it was GG here as well, but you're gonna realize soon that there was much more to the battle than you expected. So, obviously I outspeed, and I'm gonna go for the Protect just to troll him, but at this point in the battle, I was telling him in before the Focus Dash Darkrai, and he goes for the Dark Pulse, not expecting the Protect again, and I go for the Moon Blast, and he's gonna survive because he does have the Focus Dash, and he told me himself, oh, I didn't even know he had a Focus Dash. I'm like, yeah, BS, you knew he had a Focus Dash. And the key part of this battle was the special attack drop from the Moonblast. I wouldn't have lived, I'm pretty sure, I'm like 90% sure, I wouldn't have lived the Dark Pulse without that special attack drop because Geomancy increased my special defense two stages, so that pretty much cancelled out his nasty plot. But I'm pretty sure he still could have taken me out at that range. But I did get the special attack drop and that was just crazy. I literally lost at like the edge of the thread and... Man, that was a crazy battle. And to think that my team is the underdog because it's not Eevee trained. I mean, Ivy Brand, I'm not going to count that because these are legendaries. There's not much you can do. But mine wasn't Eevee trained except Darkrai. So even though Darkrai did probably the least of the work, it was a really good battle. And I'm probably going to go Eevee train these legendaries. The main reason why I don't have these things Eevee trained is because a lot of the other Ubers teams I fight don't have theirs Eevee trained. And I really, I mean, I just want to try, I mean, I'm not going to wait for them to EV train their Ubers team before because not everyone wants to EV train their legendaries. I mean, they're just for showcasing and stuff. But anyways, that was an amazing battle. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and be sure to check out John in the description below. And I will see you guys next time.